Nectar Elements is a very simple plugin that's meant for vocal production and vocal mixing, and it gives you all of the tools that you would need in a typical uh, vocal chain, EQ, compression, um, reverb, uh, exciting, tone color. It, pu punk uh, it basically puts all this into one small, simple plugin, and I find it particularly useful when I'm working on demos or doing songwriting, and I just want a really quick way to give my vocals the extra pop it needs to stand above the mix. So let's give this a listen dry. I know it's hard, I know it's tough, I know we fucked up so many times enough. Just keep on trying, keep... Yeah, dynamically in the verse here, it's not too bad. Uh, it's just kind of dull sounding, it's not bright enough. And then in the chorus here, it's just... I'm just kind of shouting and going, I'm singing as high as I possibly can, and the dynamics are kind of all over the place. So we need to control the dynamics here, but also bring out the brightness. So the way Nectar works is it has the same sort of mix or master assistant built into it, kind of like Neutron and Ozone, except here it's called the vocal assistant. So you can choose a vintage or modern vibe, or if you're working with dialogue, you can choose that. And you can choose a light, moderate, or aggressive intensity. So let's try modern, aggressive, and what you do is you just press play, and then or first you hit go, and then you hit play, and it analyzes the audio and applies the effects and processing to it that it sees uh, best fit. I know it's hard, I know it's tough, I know we fucked so many times enough. Just keep on trying, keep on living, love me like you always did. Just stop the hurting. And then it comes up with a preset with clarity, a de or dynamics is the amount of compression, a, a tone setting as well as a space setting for reverb, and you can even clean up the pitch if you choose to. So let's give this a listen by itself. I know it's hard, I know it's tough, I know we fucked up so many times enough, just keep... So I feel like the dynamics are a bit much, it's a little too flat, pull down the de or a bit. Um, let's play with the clarity. If you pull it up, it's going to be brighter. Keep on trying, keep on living. Love me and like you always did. Let's go ahead and try to pull up a little bit of the pitch correction. Not a, a, a bunch, just a touch. Just stop the hurting, stop the healing. Live this life because it's worth living. Live this life because it's worth living. So I love that, that you can go in and dial in your own settings to taste, but it gives you a, a rough starting point uh, to start off with. So let's give this a listen with the music now. I know it's hard, I know it's tough, I know we fucked up so many times enough. And just remember, we started with this. I know it's hard, I know it's tough, I know we fucked So one of the cool things about this plugin is you can automate all of these parameters in it. So if I want to automate the dynamics at the chorus, I can do that without having to split this up into two different tracks at two different settings. So really all I have to do is go to the Nectar plugin in my automation parameters, choose the dynamics parameter, and then I can just pull up the dynamics knob at that point and we'll get more compression. 